Good morning everybody, this is Dr. Alessandra Porretta speaking from the service of cardiology of the University Hospital of Lausanne. I'm very pleased today to present you the results of our work whose title is SCN5A Overlap Syndromes Moving from Theory to Practice. New evidences have recently demonstrated the existence of mixed overlapping phenotypes among hereditary arrhythmic syndromes associated to SCN5A mutation, so leading to coin the novel clinical entity of SCN5A overlap syndromes. Our aim was then to investigate prevalence and phenotypic expressions of SCN5A overlap syndromes among patients carrying SCN5A mutations diagnosed at our center. From January 2005 till December 2019, we detected 14 SCN5A mutations among patients who underwent genetic testing at our center, including six patients due to the suspicion of congenital long QT syndrome and eight patients diagnosed with Brugada syndrome. As about results, we detected the SCN5A overlap syndromes in 9 out of 14 patients. In particular, uh, 5 patients expressed a mixed phenotype with Brugada syndrome coupled to cardiac conduction disorders, including first degree atrioventricular block in all patients with a complete right bundle branch block in two patients. Uh, of note, uh, we observed intrafamilial variability since one of the previous five patients belongs to the same family of a further patient who com expressed a phenotype completely different, including not only Brugada syndrome and cardiac conduction disorders, but also atrial fibrillation and sinus node dysfunction. A further patient expressed type 3 uh, long QT syndrome and cardiac conduction disorder, and two patients finally expressed a mixed phenotype including type 3 long QT syndrome and Brugada syndrome. So, in conclusion, uh, we detected a high prevalence of SCN5A overlap syndromes in our population of patients carrying SCN5A mutation. The most frequent overlapping phenotype associates Brugada syndrome to cardiac conduction disorders, while further uh, overlapping phenotypes may include uh, type 3 long QT syndrome associated to cardiac conduction disorders or Brugada syndrome, and Brugada syndrome coupled to cardiac conduction disorder atrial fibrillation and sinus node dysfunction. Finally, variable expressions may affect patients harboring the SCN5A mutation in the same family. Thank you for attention.